Hello everyone, in this quick video I'm going to show you how to record actions and how to use these actions to automate your repetitive tasks in Photo P. Alright, without further ado, start by opening the image. It doesn't matter which specifically because we're just going to use it to record the action steps. Once you open it, go to Window, Actions. This little tab will open. Click on the new action button, this will create a new set automatically and enter it a new action. If you would like to rename the action, double click on it and rename it. When done, click the record button. You will notice that the small circle will turn into a small square. That means it is now recording. Collapse that window and start applying your favorite edits and effects to the photo. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to stick to very simple adjustments. First, I'm going to flip the photo horizontally, then apply auto contrast. Next, I'm going to desaturate it. And finally, adjust the image size. Once you're done applying all your adjustments, open the Actions tab again, then click the Record button again to stop recording and collapse the window. You can now close this Photo tab if you wish. So, how do we use this action to automate all the steps we did earlier? This folder here has a bunch of random images that I assembled for the sake of this tutorial. As you can see, this folder has 10 photos. Now, open Photopy again, Go to File, Automate, Batch. A small window will appear. Click the Source Images button and select all the images you would like to process. If you created several actions before, select one from the list. Since I only have one, it's automatically selected. Lastly, you can choose between this range of file formats. Pick your desired one. Suppose we want these images to be used for web, I'm going to choose WebP. Some formats like JPEG and WebP give you the option to select the output quality. Let's set that to 100% and click Process Images. Once processing is done, a zip file will be downloaded to your computer. Let's decompress that and take a look. As you can see, the adjustments have been successfully applied to our images apart from the image size which worked on vertical photos but not on horizontal photos. If you're mainly going to use this feature for batch resizing, consider creating two batches, one for horizontal photos and the other for vertical photos. If you mix them all up, some of the pics in the output are gonna be accidentally stretched and others will be squashed, exactly like what happened here in this example. And that's it for this video, if you learned anything useful, consider smashing that like button and maybe stick around for more videos like this coming up and I will see you in the next one.